Kia ora from New Zealand or welcome. I hope you enjoy this intuitive reading. It's a midweek pick me up. If it's not for you and doesn't resonate, that's fine. Feel free to watch somebody else. If you like it, push like, subscribe and the little notification bell. Right, let's get on with it. I've already asked Spirit for some guiding messages for everybody with some oracle cards afterwards. So to start with from today, which is the 11th of the 11th, so for some of you, you might wish to look that up on the internet or on YouTube, 1111 is a very important, powerful vibration. It's also a portal to the universe for further information and lots of information. So go search that out, ask Uncle Google. Uh, so I came, the cards that came out for you is that a lot of you are still feeling quite flat midweek, whatever's happening in your lives. You're busy or stressing or um, just feeling really, really blur. This can also be from past hurts or things that have gone wrong. So you've got your happiness around you. You've got your dreams of what you really want. And when you're feeling down or worn out and needing a rest, you can't see opportunities that are being handed to you. So try and do anything to pick up your vibrations so that you don't miss these opportunities as they come around you. And then clarifying that too is there's somebody there that can help you. This is a teacher, somebody that you can look up to, somebody that you can respect. Um, this is also an IT person. It's a person who works with their brain. And it's also can represent you too when you've learned a lot and you're very, very wise. And now you can... Uh, see the truth you can see behind the bullshit or any deceptions in your life and you can now see the truth this person is also um, a truth seeker and can guide you in the right direction this enables you to sit there feeling comfortable relaxed in uh, tune with your emotions this is the card of the lovely motherly figure the lovely caring person um, someone who is creative or Someone who's here yeah, just uh, can use their imagination or their intuition really, really well. So they're either around you or that's you feeling a lot calmer and relaxed. And this enables you to, to meet new people. So you're moving forward, you're meeting people and they could be people from a past life. It could be a deja vu experience. It could be a twin soulmate per, per, um, experience. But it's where you, you're happy, as you can see, if it's about your own relationship it's progressing and you're very happy and this is a, a lovely lovely card for anybody to get so whenever you meet either new people or it's where you're at at this stage um, it will be a profound meeting because you'll recognize each other and or have something in common where you just gel this leads to you now being able to see the truth you you're um, you're looking back a little bit at things that have happened in the past, but you are being guided here, and you're now seeking the truth. I feel that a lot of you can actually um, cut through the crap now and be a lot more decisive. This is a card of communication, so you may be talking a lot, uh, ringing, emailing, texting, whatever it is, you're doing a heap of communication because you're looking for something, you're researching something, you're seeking the truth. Or you're just doing your due diligence because you've had a little bit of mental conflict around some of your choices or where you're at at the moment you're not too sure this can also be the card of the backstabber someone gossiping behind your back that you don't take any notice of them because they uh, that's their life not yours and uh, you're in charge of your own life you're the lovely powerful person that you are this is a card of change to communication, so that goes hand in hand with the communication here. These are actually air cards, like thinking things. So this can be your own mental thoughts where you haven't got things quite worked out, you're conflicted, but this is here where you're seeking the truth and you're knowing the truth. So always follow your inner guidance too, because it will be right. And this leads on to, yes, stability. Uh, joy, happiness, feeling really stable and, and in control of your money. This is where some of you are doing something um, like a new business or doing some artwork, being creative and it's bringing you in money and it can also be where you're really good with your money and you're juggling your money around but this is a lovely slow steady stable card which brings about uh, victory. This is the card of um, hard won victory because I feel like some of you have been working for a long time to get to this position of having that uh, stability in your life and feeling really good about being stable, feeling stable in your life 
and there, there's the victory card. You've got the golden egg being handed to you from the universe. Uh, you've won. You're victorious. Um, you're feeling really happy. This is fantastic. This is what you've been waiting for. And this is going to enable you, this is the covering card, enable you to move off and come out of the dark into the light, even get dressed up, but start going in some sort of new direction, looking at things in a different way and progressing with an open heart, but feeling quite determined now and quite passionate about what you want to do or what you're actually doing. So then the lovely oracle cards that I pulled out, uh, the first one here is the Miriam sacred vision and this is saying choose to forgive in order to heal see the light in all remember that love has no boundaries so this is about focusing on love so if you're in a situation where there's conflict conflict going on around you and the people are annoying you it's how you react that uh, creates a situation so always send love and light and healing light to the other people so that they can then move on to something better and leave you alone uh, rather than being angry and sending them anger which then creates a much worse situation. We've also got these beautiful cards. This is potential. Think big for your future. Okay, so whatever you're planning or setting down your goals or you've got dreams of what you want to do, don't just think little. You deserve to have the best. And this is what you aim for. Work out your intentions and think big. This one is creative wonderment. Follow your passion. So while you're thinking, do something that cheers you up, um, something that you love doing. Because when you're doing something that you love, often that will bring in money. But it'll also make your soul or your heart sing because you'll be a lot happier being able to cope with other things. So do something creative, no matter whether it's fixing up furniture, doing some painting, um, making a nice garden or doing up your car. Do something that makes you feel a lot happier. Now let's ask for a guiding card from these lovely Frida um, inspired cards. Right, can we have a guiding message please? Can we have a guiding message for the collective? Can we please have a guiding message for the collective for the rest of the week from, from the 11th of the 11th, a guiding card, please. Here we go. Okay, that's the artwork. And your life has magnitude. You are magnificent. Honour yourself with a grateful attitude. So that's actually really important. That's part of um, thing, getting things to go well in your life is by starting every day and finishing every day with gratitude. Gratitude for the tiniest little things. And where I live at the moment, we're in a state of emergency and we have a lot of flooding. So I'm very grateful that I'm high and dry and I'm lucky. And um, also there's been people who are helping each other and it's a collective love uh, going out to lots of people so I'm very grateful for these wonderful kind people that are out there helping others okay love and light to you all enjoy the rest of your week and all the best bye